Now this is a cowhide here. And I've already cut my a big drum on this. And it's all I got left over. This is for a, a heavier hide, and, and it's for bigger drums, from uh, two to three feet or whatever size you want. And this chair hide here is a deer hide. They're a lot thinner. And they're more for smaller drums. And, uh, a drum like this, you have to put that. Your, when you're cutting them, you put them in the center. You put your frame in the center, you mark out your center, then you take the overlap. Take the overlap here in order to come over, over the, the the width of this and a lap over on this end. You could come all the way to the edge if you wanted to. And then you put your tacks on there. What the main thing is to get your get your frame exactly on the line when you're putting this on. And your cuts are gonna be in here so your overlap will be here on each corner. That's a, that's a small drum, that's an octagon. Your, your bigger drum will be fixed in, in the same in the same manner. And uh, to your hides, that would be the, the deer hide, the smaller animal for the lighter, smaller drum. And uh, now an elk or horse hide or cow hide would be used for the bigger drum. And it's a lot thicker and Take a little longer to dry. Dry out in well, three to four days. The larger drums, it should take about two days, two and a half days to uh, be fully dried out the smaller drums and the smaller, tight and smaller frames. How long are you going to pull it over one of these times? No more. It's all over. Wait, Wayne, maybe you could, uh, you could come up on us. Okay, uh, we have mo with us Molly Bushu, who's been working all summer making teepees, and this is one of the teepees here that she has made for the, uh, the JOM project. Molly has spent, I don't know, hours and hours working, sewing these teepee in here. So we're going to have her explain some of the special uh, extra added reinforcements that they put on and, and stuff and the stitch that they use to, uh, so to uh, make the teepee waterproof. We'll be uh, rolling out the teepee here. Can you help me, Chris? This is a uh, what, uh, what size is this teepee here? 18 footer. This is an 18 footer here. Uh, I don't know, it looks like. Hmm, that's pretty huge. Oh, here we have. This is, here is the. Uh, what's, oh, this is the door here. Door. It looks like the door has. And then we have your pinholes. She has uh, put a uh, pin. What, what do they call these now? Grommets. No, no. Uh, these. Oh, they, those are the grommets. These are the buttons. Oh, button. I don't know if they have any other name. Pin. Uh, TP pin holes, yeah. I guess, instead of button holes. And then this is the. Uh, the loops, the peg loops, are grommets, as they call them. God, it looks like you've really reinforced this on the edges here. The, uh... You'd have to because, uh, you know, when you pull them out... Yeah. Teepee. You have about a, kind of a hem all the way around the yeah. bottom of the teepee here. It's sewed on the top of the hem and the bottom of the hem to reinforce it. And each, each loop has been reinforced all the way across several times here. Now this canvas only comes in six foot widths here 
And so you have to sew three of them, three of them the full length of the uh, teepee here, uh, the full, well, it'll be, be 18. 18 feet, uh, three of them. And so that would mean you'd have two uh, splite, uh, what are the hems, I guess, and e you sew up and down the hem how many times? Uh, three times. Three times. I wonder if we could see that hem close up here. It's a... Here's the, the hem right here. This is the inside of the teepee here. And it, the inside has a flat on this side. And then on the outside, it's it's sewed flat and then it's folded back and it's sewed again. Mm -hmm. So and this one here goes down, see? Okay. Towards the ground. Let's put it this way so yeah. the camera can see it here. Can that you way, see this? When it rains while Wayne, the water can you runs see this? down. Here? The, uh, this is the top part of the teepee and this is the bottom part. But as it goes up, we're near the bottom. This is the, uh, the, the peg loop here or the grommet. And the water can come down. It doesn't go across. It just falls off to this edge here. The seam won't catch it and it'll just go on down. And it looks like you go two times on this, uh, mm -hmm. or this hem here. And that's the length of the teepee would be 18 feet then. Mm -hmm. We can go on up further and look at the, uh, the special reinforcements that they put in these teepees here. Just move the camera up here. Just bring it up here so you can see it better. This is this is all doubly reinforced here, huh? Mm -hmm. This is the top, and these are the flaps, uh, uh, mm -hmm. rain smoke flaps. Yes. Smoke flaps. Now, got Christian to hold this up here so you can see it. Uh, do you know the weight of this canvas here? It's, it's a twelve. Twelve. 12 ounce weight. Mm -hmm. What's, I imagine the heavier you are, the longer they last then, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do people ever make them with lighter ounce canvas? Yeah, they do, but uh, rain will go through it. Mm -hmm. Oh, rain soak. Huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like you have the front here reinforced also. This is yeah. where the, uh, buttonholes. the buttonholes here. This is where you put, it's laced with the teepee pins when it's put up together here. One side has uh, one, I'll just go, Single hole all the way down, and then one okay, side has yeah. their double. Yeah, they have double button yeah. holes on one side, and single on on the other side here. Laces the teepee right up. Hmm. And this here is this is for the uh, poles. the poles, the, the flaps. The flaps. Mm -hmm. And this here is uh, you tie one pole onto this. Around here, and when you pull it up, see. Oh, this it is. Stays. A, mm -hmm. This is how you set the top yeah. to the top of the mm -hmm. around the other poles here. Mm -hmm. And that's reinforced too. It's double. It's got double. Panel. Double paneling on the top around where the poles are. Then. Mm -hmm. well, there's a lot of hours to put one of these teepees together. Mm. I guess. Um, anything else? Special, a lot of besides a lot of hours. <laughs> you made what six teepees this year, mm -hmm. and about. I may have must have made close to twenty of those little. Ones. Twenty or twenty-five little, mm -hmm. uh, with the students working on their teepees here, and pros mm -hmm. possibly how many uh, cradle boards? About fifteen of those. Fifteen cradle boards was made too. We don't have any of the students here today to. No.
Timers used uh, hides and uh, <laughs> sinew to sew together. But yeah. Molly has a singer and uh, pins and nylon thread. Uh, is this nylon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine it's one of your uh, stronger threads. Yeah, it is. And this is 12 ounce canvas. Mm -hmm. What piece are you sewing on now? This is that paneling. Paneling, the reinforcement paneling at the top. Break any needles? Oh, yeah. You know about how many hours you, you spend behind one of these machines just sewing? Eight hours a day. Eight hours for one teepee? Oh, you mean uh, that? For the number? Well, uh, I don't know if I was to work study, you know, on my own, I'd work late and probably have it completed in about two or three days. But this way, you know. Probably about mm -hmm. 50 hours total time of just, about just that. not counting the layout and uh -huh. the cutting and everything. Just, just the straight sewing then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 